Seven, the Westchester Knicks lead over Rap semi-final action as we welcome you back to the Westchester County Center. For basketball fans all over the country, the gentleman to my right does not need an introduction, but for our purposes, he's the general manager of the Westchester Knicks, Alan Houston. I think every team would say there are two main things that you want to achieve. Win games and develop players. 32 wins, best in the league. Three call-ups this season as well. How are you guys so successful at accomplishing both? Well, I think it probably started with um, just learning from a lot of things in the past, first of all. We've got a fourth year here in Westchester. And, um, I think Scott and Steve and our whole staff just really put together a really good group. You know, Luke and Isaiah coming in, David Dotson having some minutes for us. Uh, Trey came in and just really set the tone for us in terms of just being competitive, hardworking, and being humble. Uh, then we had X and, and Nigel, we just do an incredible job. So it's, it's really everyone. It's a good group of guys. They, they really work hard. They treat every day like it's almost like their last day. They're receptive to coaching. And, uh, you know, it was really good to see Mike and the coaching staff um, be rewarded. I mean, the whole, the whole season was just... They had a lot of ups and downs. The G League, you're going to be presented with a lot of challenges. So it's really how you overcome them and get through them and, uh, and just keep a healthy, a positive mindset. Leading me to the second question, the organization has to be pleased and proud of Mike Miller being named G League Coach of the Year. Players come and go, lineups change, but it seems like Coach Miller was a real stabilizing force throughout the year. Yeah, it's a reflection of who he is as a person. He's just a very stable and consistent person. You know, you, you know what you're going to get with him. Um, he's just got a very focused approach. He's very hardworking, but he's passionate about basketball. He really, he really loves his game, and he really, from from the details to the footwork to the fundamentals, and he'll help. He'll be helping guys with their mechanics on their shooting, uh, watching film. I mean, he just. He really understands this, this process and, and his role in it. New York Knicks fans got to see a lot of Isaiah Hicks and Luke Cornett as of late. Westchester fans saw their growth and progress in the early stages of the year. What can you say about your two-way players this year? Well, I really enjoy seeing how the two-way system itself you know, really um, got integrated into the league. And for us, it, it worked well because early in the season we had so many bigs on the Knicks roster that they there really wasn't a place for them to, to get minutes. So it really helped build the foundation for them early in the season. And so now when you make some changes and now there is time for them, it, it really was uh, truly a beneficial season for them in that way. So they got the, the, the appropriate time for their development when they needed it. Last question for Alan Houston. You're sitting in a section with New York Knicks head coach Jeff Hornacek, Craig Robinson's here, President Steve Mills. What's some of the chatter going on on the other side of the floor as you take this game in? Well, we're, we're complaining about all kind of different things, and Jeff's like, well, we need Luke for tomorrow. <laughs> so so it's, there's a wide range of conversations, but this, this is a great experience for them because the intensity that they're going to get in the NBA games is – it can actually go up and down, but this one game, you know, for everything at stake, really is beneficial for them to see this type of intensity and the stakes be high for this one game. Alan, thanks for your time tonight and throughout the season. Thank you. Thank you. Alan Houston, Westchester Knicks general manager, our halftime guest. The Westchester Knicks lead the Raptors 905 48-47 at the break. I need new scrubs.